Hey guys, um, this is a very common question that I've had so far. So I wanted to make a video because so, I'm sure other people have this question as well. And that's how to easily have students submit like fillable notes or assignments or worksheets in Canvas without having the students have to upload and download and all that stuff. So first thing, you need to make sure that the Office 365 um, is an option in the student and your navigation. So if it's not, or if it has a little like eye with the line through it in settings, go to navigation. And if it's down here, like down here, you can easily take it and drag it up to your um, items that are viewable and just make sure that you hit save. Um, and for your end, you may wanna click on it and it should automatically sign you in. Yeah, so here's my OneDrive. The students should be doing that as well. So let's say I have an assignment that I want my students to do. So we're going to go to assignments. We're going to make that assignment. I'm going to call it test. Um, you don't need to put anything in this text box unless you have like directions or something. That's totally up to you. I'm going to give it points. I'm going to put it in my classwork homework section. And then you need to make sure that your tool or your submission type is external tool. And you're gonna hit find. And then you want to do Office 365 cloud assignment. So this is gonna take me to my Office 365. And I just wanna find a tile, or a tile. I wanna find a document that my students can, that need to work on. So I'm gonna choose factoring with algebra tiles. And I'll take a second to load. You'll hit select and then give it a due date. And you can change the number of attempts when it's available, all that good stuff. And I'm going to save and publish. And you'll see what it looks like for you is it literally looks like a picture of that Word doc. Um, I'm also going to add it to one of my modules so that when I look from the student's perspective, um, it's easily fine can easily be found. All right, so let's add that test document to my modules. So you'll see it's down there in my module. So let's go to the student perspective. So here's the student's perspective. Um, if this student clicks on the modules, they will see that test um, assignment. So if they click on it, it may ask them to log into Office 365. Um, they just use their regular like username, sign in, and password. Um, and you can see that it's an option here too. So you'll see that they have their own copy and it gives them like the title and then like some crazy numbers and letters. That just means it's their own copy and they're not editing my copy. So if I wanted as a student to edit this, I would go to edit document, make sure that they just click that first option. A lot of the students do not have the desktop app option, so they need to just click edit, not edit in desktop app. Um, one thing, Word Online is a little funky as far as like layout goes. It's not perfect, but it is usable um, for students to be entering their answers. So I'm just gonna, let's say this was a question, my answer is seven. Um, what's nice is until the students hit submit, they can go out and come back. So let's say um, I was done working for the day and then I come back the next day and I click back on that assignment because some of us don't finish one full lesson in a day and the students are working over time. You can see that my work there where I wrote my answer is seven has been saved. So when the student is ready, they're going to click submit. And another amazing thing is on their Office 365, and they can get to this through OneDrive, it automatically makes a Canvas um, folder, makes a folder for my class, and then it makes a copy of that file. You can see I did it earlier as a practice, but it makes a copy of that done file. And if I open that, 
Um, you can see where it says my answer is seven is there. So the students, even though they've already submitted it, will still have access to that specific assignment if they need it to like study for a test or what have you. So what does it look like on the teacher's perspective once the students have submitted? So let's go back to the teacher perspective. So here I am in my modules or you can go to assignments and I'm going to click on that assignment which was called test. And then I'm going to go to speed grader. And you can see that what the student wrote is on the copy in the speed grader. So again, it has not affected my own copy. So you can see here's my copy clean, that my answer is seven is not there. Um, but what they have, what they have submitted is there. And what's nice is obviously you can grade it, you can add comments, but there's all these tools up here. You can add text boxes. Um, that the students can see. You can draw on it for the students if you need to. You can add shapes if that's something you need to do. Leave a comment. Um, there's so many different tools here that you can give effective feedback for the students. Um, that's all I have on this. Um, again, I'm not... I, I'm not well as well versed as some teachers who have used it in their classes. This isn't the way that I have students do um, their notes because they're actually like writing in a different program for me. But I know that this is something that a lot of you are looking for. Um, so I just wanted to show you how to, how to make that happen. So if you have questions, please let me know. Um, and I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks, guys.